Well, we're looking at a Gold Star <coughs> FC2130 1.3 gigahertz frequency counter. Right now we've got this counter hooked up to a rubidium source. Yeah. Give you a quick look at that. This is our rubidium source. She's in lock right now. That's why the green light's on. We're getting 10 megahertz out. We're getting that 10 megahertz to uh, approximately uh, better than a hundredth of a hertz. And we're feeding it into the Gold Star, and we can see that right now we're getting a reading of 10 million all the way down to the lowest uh, significant digit. That's 2 a hertz. So um, the unit is measuring the uh, frequency extremely well. This is after a calibration, of course. But it has a, uh, a very nice... Um, temperature compensated uh, oscillator in it. It, uh, it held the um, uh, the calibration quite well for the last couple of months. And uh, we're going to put it through its paces right now just to show you that it's a, that it's a functioning unit. <coughs> right now we're on channel A which is the lower of the two here. Channel A is rated at uh, 100 megahertz. It's uh, one mega ohm input and can handle up to 250 volts. Um, channel B is the 50 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz channel. It's a 50 ohm input and can handle up to 3 volts uh, in that range. The um, Gate times are selectable from a hundredth of a second to ten seconds. We are on the ten second average right now. That gives us the frequency to the hertz. And it's telling us that we are reading on uh, frequency on A. It uh, also can read um, it can read period, it can totalize, and it can give you the RPMs coming in on A as well. Um, we have a low frequency filter, we have a, an attenuator of times 10 or times 1, and we can choose either AC or DC coupling. has very nice uh, large green LEDs, easy to read. And it's indicating right now that we're reading megahertz. So we've got 10.6 zeros in megahertz. You have a hold and you have a reset. I just reinitiated a count. So there we go. We're in one second right here. Then I can bump her to 10 seconds and it'll, it'll give us an average. It's in... Uh, Good shape. The stand works well. Case looks very nice. Not a large number of marks, scratches, and of the sort here. We have a external input. We could feed the uh, rubidium source externally into this unit and run it off of that, in which case you would have accuracy that would rival the rubidium standard itself. But we're doing quite well on the internal oscillator that's in it, so not a tremendous need, but a nice uh, capability. The one thing that I will point out, it looks like somebody dropped this unit on its corner. We have a, we have a little chip here and the corner here is a little ground. It looks like it took a slit on something kind of rough. But that's the only bad spot on the unit. Everything else is in tremendous shape. And frankly, when you're using it on the bench, it's hardly noticeable.
All right, let's uh, let's put it through its paces. Okay, we're now feeding the uh, input of this counter from this PTS 500 digital synthesizer here, and that synthesizer is has its master oscillator being driven by the rubidium, so we're quite accurate. We're going to uh, go ahead and see what this channel A is capable of doing. Let's uh, let's take her to 100 megahertz. All right, there's 100. 110. 20. 30. Remember, this is supposed to be rated at only 100. 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, all right, I'd say 70, 170 megahertz was my limit, and yeah, there it is. Although it's definitely capable of reading up to 170 megahertz, I wouldn't do so for an extremely long period of time uh, because of the power that that represents and, and that it might overheat something. But it's good to know that it's capable of doing that. So Now we're going to go ahead and move our input to B. B now. We're reading frequency with a one second uh, gate time on B. And we're going to step B up now. Now this PTS 500 can get me up to 500 megahertz. I can't go further. This meter is supposed to read up to 1.3 gigahertz. I have nothing that will give us that, but let's take a look at the 500 just to make sure that we've got that okay. There we are, 500 megahertz out of my generator being accurately measured. Okay. This will give you a very nice little uh, frequency counter for a bench. We form the basis for a lot of experimentation and measurement. Let's. Um, Okay, we are reading right now 1 megahertz, and we're going to uh, advance this to the period and see what she gives us. Okay, it's telling us right now that we have 1 microsecond uh, of period, and for a 1 megahertz frequency, that would be correct. Let's uh, stick her down to... Um, Five. Five hundred kilohertz. Five hundred kilohertz, and I'm getting two microseconds. Double the, uh, the previous, which would make sense. We have taken the frequency down by half, so we've doubled the period. And so on. Uh, here's three hundred. So our period is reading accurately as well. We have a totalizer which counts events and then we have revolutions per minute. Alright, we would have a 18 million revolutions in a, mil in a minute going at this uh, 300 kilohertz rate. Makes sense. 6 times 3 is 18. So that would be correct too. So uh, a lot packed into a very nice little package. Um, somebody's going to be a lucky winner. Thank you for listening. See you again.